Good morning YouTube, welcome to the channel. I am Tyler Fikes. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are pulling in the garage, in the truck. If you guys haven't seen my last video, or my last three videos actually, I would go check them out because they are all kind of related to this video. Shut the truck off. So if you guys didn't see the video, it was about horn blasters. I got the shirt and sunglasses they sent me. So I installed the name the loudest train horn that horn blasters offers it's actually off of a real locomotive if you guys didn't see the video i put one on this truck and one on the truck behind me if the camera will focus right there the big white duramax it's some tires right in the way anyways we got the horn on both trucks five gallon tanks big compressors it's awesome it is extremely loud blows my old train horns out of the water it's not even like it's not even comparable it's literally 10 times louder than a horn I thought was already extremely loud. And if you guys want to get anything from Horn Blasters, down below there will be a link. It'll take you to their page and you can get a kit to throw a horn on your vehicle. And they have everything ranging from like two, $300 price range all the way up to $2,100 and up for something like the Nathan K5. And you can do other options, bigger tanks, bigger compressors, more than one tank, more than one compressor. They have a ton of options. So if you guys want some kind of air horn on your vehicle, they have something for you. They also have cool sunglasses, shirts, and what we're gonna be doing today, this little remote. So I have not opened this yet. So this is what comes in the box. They have a nice little schematic for you telling you how this thing works. Pop this open. To get to that, you're gonna to wanna to run this one to constant power, that one to ground, this one also to constant power, this one to your horn relay in order to honk the horn, and this one is not going to go to anything. Not sure why, but that one is not in use. That is what the schematic says. Now in the schematic, it shows putting a toggle switch and you can flip it and honk either your train horn with the valve or your factory horn. Now I don't care about honking my factory horn from this little provided remote. I just care about honking the train horn. So I'm not gonna be adding this part and it should work fine. Just run the constant power, run that to the solenoid. And then the remote comes with a little battery. You just gotta take the back off, put the battery right in here and it has a nice little window to hide the button. And when you press the button, the light comes on to let you know you're honking your horn. It also has an extendable antenna so you can honk this thing from really far away, hopefully. So we are gonna install that on this truck right now and see how well it works. And if you guys wanna get this product for yourself, down in the description, it'll take you to Horn Blasters. You can look up remote honk and it should come up. Also, while I'm working on something electronic in the truck, I figured I may as well throw this in too. I've had this for a while. It's just a little dual USB port that I'm going to put in the passenger side of the truck under the dashboard for passengers or me or anything like that to charge a phone or anything with a USB port. Just a nice little upgrade to have more power outlets in the truck. All right, GM, I got a serious question for you. And if anyone knows, put it down in the comments. What is the point of this hole, like this whole little thing right here? I don't get why they didn't just seal up right there and there and like all the corners because they're all open. And I brushed out all that dirt. There's so much dirt in that one little hole. It's ridiculous. I don't get why they didn't close it or what the point of it is. So if anyone knows, put that in the comments. Uh, GM, if you just did that so our body panels would rust, not cool. All right, so I got the little box wired up. I put it down here in the battery. I actually didn't end up having to go under the truck like I thought, since that is the relay, the messy relay with all the wires that controls the horn compressor, solenoid, all that kind of good stuff right here for the train horn. I kind of did this wiring setup a little different than the pack that the that horn blaster sends you with. Made my own relay over here. And I ended up being able to just run wires literally from there where the box is to right there. Super simple, it took like five minutes. Taped everything up so it's gonna stay where it is. And now in theory it should work, but I'm not gonna test it here in my garage because I don't want my neighbors to hate me, but I did hook that up to power over on the table and tested it. The remote does work to supply power to that and it should do exactly what it says it does. So I'm gonna go for a quick drive, park my truck somewhere that I'm not gonna piss too many people off and give it a honk. 
Also, I got the USB port installed, so it's just right on the passenger side. Pull it up, it's lit up blue, just like all the rest of the truck, so that's a cool feature I didn't know it was gonna have. And if anybody has this model truck and you wanna do this yourself, there's just one bolt right here, somewhere here and over here. You just take those three bolts out, this whole thing pulls down and there's plenty of space right here to throw that in there, even though it is pretty deep, it's about two inches deep, um, plenty of room up there. And then I just pulled power straight from the deck. So I did have to take all of this apart, run a wire from there down to there. And now it has constant power so I can charge a phone or whatever with a USB port. I tested it with that, it does work. I tested it on my phone and it works. So that was a nice little upgrade. Just one more power port on the truck to charge more stuff. Say I need to charge those headphones or something on the go and Back here, I do have three ports. One of them is running constant power to the iPad. One still has the little cigarette lighter thing in there. Not that I ever use it, but came factory on the truck. May as well keep it there. And then the other one is open. I sometimes plug my iPhone into that. But if anyone wants to add that to their truck, there will be a link down below to get the same exact product off Amazon. Super easy install. Took like 30 minutes tops and a nice little upgrade. And it looks super clean. Can't really tell it's something that's not supposed to be there. It looks pretty factory the way it's hidden. It looks really nice. And now it is time to take the keys and go test this remote. I don't want to do it in the garage because it is extremely loud and I'm in the neighborhood and I will piss a lot of people off. So I'm going to go out to a parking lot and then we're going to test how far away it works. So that'll be cool to see too, how far away I can go and then see if uh, the antenna being extended or not makes a difference on how far away I can be. So let's go do that. Also real quick, I don't know if anyone will even notice, I used to have a custom offset sticker right there. I just took it off and cleaned my windshield really well because it was getting faded from the sun and the windshield wiper wiping it and it was cracking. So I liked it, but it wasn't looking clean anymore. And now that looks a lot better. Truck is looking super clean. I spent like two hours the other day giving it an extreme detail, wash and wax. You can see it's extremely shiny. I do have some paint imperfections I really want to get fixed. But you can see right there, for the most part, it is extremely clean. I did the inside, outside. That's nice, inside also done, like I said, except for where I just put my boot. Anyways, time to go honk the horn with the remote. All right, so I went out to a school parking lot pretty far away from my house, so no one will know it's me at least. I'm gonna walk pretty far away because I don't want to do this more than once or twice, get the antenna out on the remote. I'm just gonna back up a ways and see about how far away it works. We got my buddy's S2000 out taking some pictures. All right, so I'm about a hundred yards away. I'm gonna try it with the thing down and here we go. Ooh, it works. That was pretty loud too. All right, well, this remote works really well from really far away. I was about 100 yards without the antenna up. So I'm sure it's got a lot further of a range. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so you gotta be higher. You gotta be above it. It doesn't work from down low. But that was pretty cool. All right, guys, so we just got the little upgrades done. We got the remote done. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. I have it on my keychain right here. You guys can see it. So we got the remote set up done so we can honk the horn from outside of the truck outside of the vehicle maybe like set it up in a parking lot or something and honk it from far away and get some video reactions it'll be a lot easier to get recordings of people getting scared because that's kind of the point of the horn just make some funny content some funny videos sorry for the bumpy road just pulling out of the neighborhood and it's a little bumpy in here and we got the little power port set up over there for passengers to use. Plug in their iPhone or whatever USB product. Some kind of charger, charge up your phone in the passenger seat. It's just nice to have more options, more outlets for more power to fuel more stuff. Simple little upgrade, but makes the truck that much nicer and that much more usable. And I will leave a link to the Amazon link down below where you can get that exact little dual USB out port yourself and hook it up the same way I did right there to the truck and be able to have more power ports for charging your phones. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, see you guys later.